good morning children as you have already got the information tomorrow there is no physics test you will have only geography test i will let you know about the date later when you will have the physics test i'll tell you later okay now you just don't worry about it whatever work i'm giving for every day you just keep doing it is it clear now the questions i gave for revision on monday many of you uh, had not written it properly children it's not like any other subject like i just write something related to it it's done no you have to write exactly i'm not expecting word to word but if i say these two points should be there it should be there for example i had asked a question camels can walk easily on a sandy surface okay so your answer should have two points one is because it has broad feet it exerts less pressure that's the first point second point therefore the feet do not sink much in sand as compared no you don't have to even write compared to that of horse so that its feet does not sink much in sand i expect these two points now many of you had stopped here itself or you have written only it has a broad feet so it can uh, its feet do not sink and it can walk easily on sand no i want this this is the technical reason and this is the effect of it or consequence of it now always i have been telling you especially when you study these applications it will have two points one is about area more or area less based on that pressure second what is the effect of it what happens because of that you have to say that also cutting is easier okay um the um, uh, it can walk easily the um army tanker does not break the ground or sink into the ground Now that's called consequence or effect of it okay so you're supposed to write both okay otherwise marks will not be given i'm telling you again and again so if i ask you knife have sharp cutting edges what will be your answer so area decreases and so therefore pressure increases that's the first point second point as a result so what the cutting action is smooth and fast or we can cut easily same thing for drawing pins also you have to write this reason area of contact decreases so pressure increases second point so they can penetrate easily into the surface now if you write only this though in this it is given so that they can penetrate easily into the surface i will not give you full mark i'm telling you now itself please learn to write the reason so in all these reasoning questions there should be two points first point about uh, pressure is more or less that's based on the area second what happens because of that in your practical life what is the effect of that okay so um so broad straps means area increases so pressure decreases so therefore it reduces pressure on our hands it doesn't pain much when you put it on your shoulders is it clear i think you got it now today for practice i will be sending another two questions and i expect you to write the same way as i told you i hope you all are understanding children otherwise i won't give you even a single mark i'm telling you now itself okay the steel tracks means it increases the area which reduces pressure this you can consider as a single point therefore hence wheels of army tank do not sink into the ground i hope you got the idea first should be the reason there will be two possible reasons either more area less pressure less area more pressure then about what happens because of that in this case what happens because of that it is difficult to walk with a pencil heel because the pressure is very high so be careful especially while writing reasoning questions okay and <clears throat> even submarines are built are built with hard thick sheets of special stitch so that they may withstand high pressure under sea water it will be better if you write pressure exerted by water increases with depth that's the main reason pressure exerted by water in a sea increases with depth therefore 
to withstand that high pressure they are made of thick sheets this is the technical answer in the sense this is the physics uh, part of the thing and this is the practical part of it so both should be there especially in reasoning questions is it clear so though in this it is not there i expect you to write this point pressure exerted in a sea or ocean increases with depth one mark for that one mark for this okay and then again in this question also i can see lot of mess up i asked you how liquid rises in a syringe okay many of you just wrote due to atmospheric pressure out of 3 marks you will get only one mark i'm telling you now itself if you just write this okay you have to write like this um based on sucking cold drink cold drink through a straw okay something like that you have to write in the sense have you all seen a syringe yeah i'm sure you would have all had some injection at some point of time in your life and you would have seen a syringe okay so first you will write when the piston is pulled out okay if you would have seen this whenever they are um, going to um, give a injection um, if it if the this is called you know it has uh, piston piston is the part that can move in and out that's called the piston okay so first they will uh, they will push it inside so what it will do it will push all the air outside so what will be there inside pressure will be very less because all the air has been pushed out now when they pull this uh, plunger back the medicine will rise inside the um, okay so what you will write i think i have given uh, the other day okay um, that is how you, so you will write first you will say when the piston is pulled up pressure inside pressure decreases then therefore okay see this is the first point here also when you suck cold drink through a straw what will happen when you suck a straw air pressure inside the straw becomes less than atmospheric pressure then so outside pressure pushes the cold drink into the straw same way here when the piston is pushed pushed it sends all the air out so the inside air decreases is less compared to the atmospheric pressure second point so the atmospheric pressure pushes the medicine inside okay there it was juice here it is medicine inside the syringe that's all the same thing they can ask for ink gets filled in a fountain pen don't just write due to atmospheric pressure again you have to write you all know how a ink filler works so you first they will you, sh you should usually press it okay it will uh, so the ink filler will be like this it will have a a part like this okay so first what they'll do is they'll if suppose this is the ink pot if you want ink to rise inside it first they will press it they will press it okay now when they press all the air inside will go out pressure inside decreases okay so when they release this atmospheric pressure acting outside will push this ink into the ink filler it rises can you understand so if i ask you the question how does ink rise into a fountain pen what you will write when the uh, when the um, when it is pressed it the air inside is pushed out therefore the pressure inside decreases when compared to the atmospheric pressure so atmospheric pressure pushes the ink inside the ink filler is it clear so this is how your answer should be children and uh, at most um, why some people have nose bleeding both the points should be there atmospheric pressure decreases is as slow sorry not this as you go high yeah yeah atmospheric pressure is low as compared to the blood pressure uh, uh, main thing is this one atmospheric pressure decreases with increase in altitude so what happens our inside pressure becomes more outside pressure is now less so to balance it it comes out all the three points has to be written atmospheric pressure decreases with increase in altitude at high altitudes okay so tomorrow evening now just because there is no test day after tomorrow please don't stop studying physics so tomorrow what you going to do you going to revise the whole chapter
you're going to revise the whole chapter in the daytime and in the evening i'll send a worksheet okay based on all the questions okay uh, the whole chapter you can ask question from any part and you need to answer and i want the answers to be exactly the way i told please write your don't write your own in your own way you will not get marks i'm telling you again and again is it clear so please uh, study this chapter thoroughly you will have a test sometime i'll tell you the date exactly later but study it and do the worksheet which i send in the evening thank you so much